Yo, yo, I'm Just Lorenzo, and I hope you're hungry, because it's time for a bowl of Just Lorenzo's logic. Let's get stuck in. Let's talk when to play. Good time or bad time to game? Well, I'll talk, you listen. It's generally how this relationship works, geez. So, when to play? Here we go again. Right, picture this. There's 47 seconds left on the clock. It's sudden death. And the only thing separating you from internal glory is... A cleanup on aisle six? Wait, what? Ah, right. That is because this is a bad time to game. Of course. Sometimes I think, from a gamer's perspective, that the scale is always tipped against us and that there is a lot more bad times to play than good times. But that said, it only takes one good game time to cancel out a hundred bad times. That's a bold claim to make, I hear you say, geez. Well, When it comes to bold claims, I'm your man for that. So before we take this journey together on a good time or bad time to play, and if you can relate, let's have a word from our sponsor. So this video is brought to you by Just Prototype. Two. And here to say a few words is James Hellier. James, it's great to have you here. How are you? You want something from me. What is it, huh? Protection? A way out of this fucking sinkhole? Fantastic. And have you got any advice for any biological shapeshifters out there? You want to know what happens when you put people in a room with a monster? I'll show you. Interesting stuff. And finally, Can you say a few words about your experiences with the Just Lorenzo channel for my viewers? Enough of your fucking weird fucking rambling shit! Powerful message. Thank you, James. And thank you to our sponsor. And now, back to the logic. As I was saying, for us to understand when it's a good time or bad time to play, we need to have a closer look at each. As the answer seems obvious, but for most of us gamers, it's really not. So let's kick this off with bad times to game. And when I think of bad times to game, I picture images of standing at the altar, or being in the delivery room, or even sitting at a deathbed. Maybe... No, no, these are bad times to game, I guess. I think when it comes to bad gaming times, it all comes down to what way your bread is buttered. I mean, we're all different at the end of the day, and my bad times might be your good times. So talking about good times, let's talk good times to game. And when I think of good times to game, I picture images of an empty house, a stocked fridge, and my clan on standby in party chat. Ah, yes. (laughs) Oh, sorry, jeez. I was someplace else for a moment. Anyway, I think the message I'm trying to get across to you is that being a gamer, any time you game, is a good time to game. But it shouldn't be the be-all and end-all. Like, if you have a pet, feed him before you game. If you have a partner, give them some attention before you game. And if you have kids, play with them before you game. That way, they will never be a bad time to game. Fact. Fact a mundo. Fact a rama. Fact a fact. What the fact am I talking about? I mean, one pandemic is bad enough. But two? And in the same place? Nah, I'm out of here. Oh, hi, geez, you're back. So. There you have it, your when to play good or bad time to game question answered. When is a good time and bad time to play for you? I bet I know. You know I know. 
we all know together. Wait, what? Anyway, thanks for sticking around and watching my most logical video yet. Straight out of the mind of just Lorenzo. Don't forget to hit me up and subscribe to my channel for more Just Lorenzo's logic. And remember, here it's game time all the time.